Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and this is huge. Yes, the rear tires of this vehicle are the same size, or at least the same length, and are taller than the standard Chevy 1500. And then when you come to the back, things really start to make a little bit more sense. Now, this is called the T100, and it is absolutely enormous. I don't even know where to begin with this thing, other than the fact that it is absolutely tremendous and enormous in every single sense of both of those words. And I think it's possibly the widest vehicle in the game yet, at least aside from things like the monstrosity and sort of, um, sort of fantasy vehicles. Because this is a remake of a real-world vehicle. And I have to say, it seems like they've done a really good job in terms of quality. Now, if we go into... Whoa! Look at how cool that dash is. Look how wide the actual passenger cabin is. Let's fire it up and see what happens. It roars to life. The gauges work! All-wheel drive and diff lock? Bro, this is wild. I'm just a little unsure of where it will... F oh my god! The size of it in the garage! <laughs> that is insane! It doesn't even fit in the actual, like, garage space. So let's see. 600 horsepower engine and 700 horsepower engine. Let's add another 100 horsepower, because why not? All right. Now, for our first test, we are going to go with the off-road gearbox. We have one suspension option. We have 90-inch tires. What? Wow. They're all 90-inch tires, but they're all slightly different in compound. Okay. Uh, we're going to go with the mud compound. And stock super heavy, stock engageable diff lock. Whoa, you can actually change the positioning of the snorkels. That's so cool. That's super cool. All right, repair parts and spare wheel, or repair parts exclusively. Carriage standard with three cargo. That is tremendous. Let's see. Carriage experimental, six cargo. Let's see. Um, important. This is an, un an unusual mechanic you've never experienced. Use automatic load for cargo and then move it onto board by a signed button in V function menu. What? Well, apparently we have to mess with that just to see what happens. We got a vehicle loader here. Yo, that's so cool. Oh my God, that's awesome. Platform experimental, log carrier front, and saddle high. So, there's a lot of different things going on here. A lot more than I, a lot more than I am initially used to. Let's see. You can change the color of it too. That's so cool. I just love the way it looks. Like, it's such a different type of vehicle that I'm really genuinely not used to seeing vehicles like this in SnowRunner in any... No way! Yo, you can put beans on the dash. And there's literally a perfect spot for him right here. Oh my god, that's so cool! That is so freaking cool. Look how enormous this is next to the garage. I can't even, like, begin to describe... You couldn't haul this on any trailer. Literally. Like, there's no trailer that could haul this. At least I don't think. So let's see what this experimental cargo loading is all about. Whoa! Yo, that's flopping around like mad. So, let's see. Vehicle spare parts. Why not? So, oh, whoa, what, this is so cool, so you could sort it, wow, that's amazing, so you can have six units of cargo in the back, and it's all actually sorted from one side to the other, and he made it so that they move, and you can make it so it visually looks right. This is blowing my mind, dude. Like, this is absolutely blowing my freaking mind. Wow. What an incredible vehicle. 
Like, literally, what an incredible vehicle. All right, now, we're going to remove that cargo, and let's just see if we can do something a little bit different, just a little bit out of the ordinary. Uh, not necessarily. Let's go... Oh, wait. I've just realized. You have to move these back, otherwise, when you go to load other things, they look freaking strange. Like, when you go to load other things, it looks really freaking strange if you don't return these to their proper pl uh, proper place. Now, I'm gonna go switch something up real quick. So we're gonna go with the platform with ramp. And apparently that can do short logs. I don't know how, but apparently it can. And now we're going to actually attempt to load a vehicle on the back. I'm sure it would be a wonderful vehicle transporter absolutely certain of that it's got a gigantic winch up there too all right we're gonna activate the ramp and i'm gonna bring in a vehicle just to kind of load up onto the back nothing too crazy we are going to use for that let's see a uh we'll use the grand hero or no we use the prowler buggy the prowler buggy is freaking wide and that actually makes a lot of sense because with the prowler buggy being so wide there are other vehicles that have trouble hauling it. So this might be the way to go about hauling the Prowler buggy. Oh, it fits perfectly too. Yo, that's so cool. Oh my God. This is like such an incredible setup. I love it. All right. Swapping truck. No. Now, you know what? You, you can leave. Yeah, you could get out of here. You can get out of here. There we go. All right. Pack trucks. Activate ramp. And boom, now you have a slightly over-the-top yet very functional hauling solution for the, uh, the Prowler Buggy. And thank God it actually fits out of the garage gate. I was really worried it wasn't going to fit out of the garage gate, but luckily it does. And from here, we can make our way out to just a couple of tests. Now, I'm not going to do the entire test circuit with this thing because I feel like doing the entire test circuit with the a little over the top because I don't know how it would do over like the dips obstacle and stuff like that let's put it in low plus lock the diff and see how she does I mean it's so incredibly heavy that it's not like anything's gonna stand in its way I mean look at it what's standing in the way of this thing like nothing that I'm gonna put in front of it that's for sure I mean I ain't standing in the way of it I feel like you'd be incredibly crazy to even think about standing in the way of this thing. If you even consider standing in the way of this thing, you'd literally be flattened in no time flat. And I was not even, I was not even like trying to line those up. It just happened. Good God. All right, beans. You're ready to head for the mud pit. Let's go. I love the working gauges. The working gauges are the best. Wait is straight straight is left oh my god straight is left on the steering wheel bro she, she needs an alignment <laughs> oh my god all right plunging into the first mud pit in auto mode lockers off let's see how long it stays at nope oh my god all right so you're gonna want low plus that's gonna be the only way to keep it from gear hunting just jump it all over the place. All right, first mud test. I have a feeling it's probably going to ace this. What do y'all think it's going to do? I think it's going to walk right through it. And it uh, walks right through it. Yeah. It walks right through it and doesn't even act like it was a problem. What about the pond? What about the pond? I need to check this. Doesn't even care. I'll put it in standard low because I feel like that's probably a little bit more along the lines of where you'd actually be in the gearbox right now. But yeah, I mean, it's not even complaining one bit. Look at it emerging from that pond. Like it, it's literally like a monster out of a swamp. And that's the other crazy part too, is that like, yes, the tires are huge, but the tires end up getting 
sort of dwarfed by the insanely large bodywork. The bodywork of this truck is completely on a different level. Like, you could, you could walk. You could put a treadmill on the fenders. What? Like, why? You could literally put a treadmill on the fenders. Not that that's a bad thing, but I feel like it's just so out of the realm of what's, like, normal to see. Now, granted, I'm sure, you know, when I say that, there's going to be people in the comments that are going to be like, well, actually, XYZ, you know, mining truck is bigger. And I'm sure it is. The only thing is, like, in regards to trucks that we see, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis in SnowRunner, this is huge. It's also stuck. <laughs> Oh, no, and it's also out of winch points. Yeah, 700 horsepower may be a lot, but it ain't enough to get us out of here, even with the lockers on. Well, I've decided to grab something that I think will have no issues whatsoever rescuing that truck. That's the IX Quad Steer. This thing is silly. This thing is just, like, it. it's one of those things where you're like, you see what it could do, and you're like, oh, that shouldn't be allowed. But then you look at it some more and you're like, oh, but it should. No way. That's going to make the IX quad steer dig? Bro, I'm not even like... Wow. That's nuts. Hold on. All right, winch to the back. Come on. It's pulling us in! The only option is going to be for us to pull it straight back, and I don't even know if we could do that. Did we literally get this thing stuck? I mean, I knew that because of its immense weight, it was going to have some difficulties here and there, but I didn't know it was going to be that crazy. Pulling it straight back gives us a little bit more of an advantage, but, dude, literally not much! Oh my god, literally not much. Come on! Yes, there it is. There it is. At least we did something, I think. I think we did something. Now let's see if we can drive it out. I don't know if we can drive it out, but I'm going to try to drive it out. Could be my worst idea ever, but guess what? We're about to find out. Backing her up. Lockers engaged. Yes. All right, I'm never bringing this in here again. I am never bringing this in here again. Ever. And I caution you against bringing it on uneven terrain. If that's something you're considering, rethink your position on that. All right, high range box, heading for the bridge jump. And let me tell you, here's hoping it fits on the bridge. Because if it doesn't fit on the bridge, there's no bridge jump for us to do. So it better fit on the bridge. The crazy part is that it's already up into fifth in like no time at all. That means we're gonna have to we're gonna have to run in a neutral down the hill. I'm not even going to be bothered by these barricades. I'm just going to repair if they cause me any damage. But look, they're not even causing me any damage. I'm literally going over them like they mean nothing. And they pretty much me do mean nothing to this thing. It Look, no damage at all. Even after it got lodged under the wheel. Which you guys know, if you've been on summer testing grounds, that will tear up a suspension on these trucks. Not this truck, for example, but most trucks. I'm going to put it in high and see if it'll stay there for this uh, little climb up the hill. It should. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't. But then again, I also thought it'd be fine through the dips obstacle. So, yeah, we may have some surprises in store. It's a steep grade. Oh, no. Yeah, it started. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, without having the lockers on in high, it rolls backwards downhill on pavement. That's how heavy we're talking about here. That's how incredibly heavy we're talking about here. There's fifth. 
There's neutral. Picking up speed. Picking up speed. Picking up speed. Come on! Hit the jump! Boom! Took out every single barrel, I think. Or, well, all but one. All but one. A little bit of engine damage. A little bit of suspension damage. Back it up out of the woods. We're still fine. And we still got the buggy on the back of the truck. So, if that's not a testament to this thing's strength, I don't know what is. And if you guys enjoyed this look at this mod, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.